<laughs> Hello. So this is, in my opinion, one of the most fun maps in COD history. I know that this map gets a lot of slack for being, you know, reused assets galore, but I think that's what makes it amazing. Welcome in, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! Welcome to another video. In today's video, we are doing essentially like a part three to a series that I just kind of started to do. I don't know where and uh, you guys really enjoy where we just kind of go through maps and I guess I uh, assume something about the said map that people disagree agree with it seemed to be a running trend with the last two videos where uh, i said some things and people disagreed with me but hey i hope not a lot of people disagree with me saying that this is probably one of the most fun maps out there now i need to specify it is one of but uh, also i need to say one of because obviously everybody will have a different opinion but in my opinion this is the most fun what i mean by that is there's just so much to do on it not only are there like two crazy wonder weapons like the thunder gun and the apothic and servant but you also have two bosses like the panzer and different types of marguas you can go inside of the big monster for the pack-a-punch machine you can have little ironies you can have ragnaroks you can have extra perks essentially by completing little challenges in the game you can get a special like pack-a-punch camo slash pack-a-punch ability onto the apothic and servant you can get the cool gorod crovy shield in this which just makes it so much better in my opinion and there's just just so much in this to do that isn't in a way difficult because one thing i will say is i really ha do have a lot of fun on a map like shadows of evil but i know that some people might not because well it's shadows of evil it's a very difficult map a lot of people consider it to be uh, really good but then again some of the newer players would consider it to be worse because uh, it just takes a lot of you know getting used to and a lot of learning now revelations isn't my favorite map in any kind of way just because it's fun doesn't mean it's you know the greatest map out there I think it's just something you can hop onto and always enjoy your time, in my opinion. And you know, it's Black Ops 3, so you have like gobble gums and everything else that just improves it even more. And you know, a lot of people consider, you know, Black Ops 3 to be literally the greatest thing that has ever, ever happened to zombies. Nothing has ever beaten it to this day. No, no zombies game has been better. Literally, no zombies experience has been ever greater than anything else. Honestly, I disagree, but sure, whatever. You can't change everybody's mind about what they think about zombies. But in today's video, I just kind of want to show you, you know, the map. I, I forgot to mention, we were literally just in order origins and now we're moving to buried for literally like a second so uh here's buried and now here's mob of the dead <laughs> oh wait no no no, no. this isn't mob dead this is verrucked right yeah verrucked and now mob of the dead so it's just like you go from map to map which is crazy also here is funny hat i actually don't know if the hat does anything uh does it give you any perks i think maybe it makes you run faster because there's actual like ones that give you special perks there's like a god hat mask thing whatever you want to call it that i remember getting once when i was going for a high round it requires you to do like a bunch of crazy stuff also if i go through this portal i should end up in hello uh we have also challenges are they easy oh equip the shield oh, i wonder what that one will give me let's uh i guess let's try to build the shield Funny thing about Noct is we've seen it so many times, and if you are a Cold War gamer, which I know most of my viewers are, uh, this is where the penthouse is located. So you come up these stairs, funny stairs. Uh, actually, I think this wall is like removed. Uh, <laughs> inside of this room, you would find a DIE. Uh, out here, you'd run over to the like spawn area. Kind of crazy playing Noct on Toten so much, and like hopping on here and just trying to recreate your memory we were never able to go this way over here in knocked on cold war but over there is where you get like the die part and stuff i remember being so excited for this map to come out seeing like all the zombies youtubers trying to hunt for the easter egg which literally took i think like a week to finish because of a fairly stupid step which requires you to find bones and suck them up with apothic and servant so, uh, <laughs> you know, you can kind of already figure out how annoying that would be. I'm pretty sure one of the bones is like here, 
Maybe you can't see it until like I get the actual step. Also, I'm pretty sure like the end cutscene leaked before anyone actually completed the Easter egg or something like that. I think it was they found out the subtitles, so they knew exactly what was going to be said. Ah, the good old days. Good old days when zombies was in its absolute prime. Now look at where we are. Goddamn poo poo guard. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh my god. Freaking grenade blows up near you, you. You get blinded. Oh, also, I keep forgetting. I should be probably telling you where I am. I've played this map so many times. I'm just kind of used to it. Here is Shangri La. Cool, 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 cool. And if you come up here, uh, this is the Rising Drug, right? But this isn't in the Rising Drug. So this is like an original part, I think. But this is. Yeah. I've played a lot of Drys and Dragon. I already forgot. What's out here? I think this is more original stuff. Actually, I forgot this place existed. <laughs> Just a random rocky area. Oh, we got zero gravity. Let's see. Is the shield part anywhere around here? Ooh, where does the shield part? Oh, there it is. There it is. We found the shield part. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the risky thing. Uh, I don't know if I'll die if I mess up. I should probably wait until... Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I should probably wait until I have, like, more perks so I can get basically free juggernaut... Or juggernaut? Perkaholic. Yeah, fun fact. You can actually get free perkaholic. Uh, uh, if you don't know what this is, this is basically just wall running. Funny wall running that was introduced in... Was it this game? Uh-oh. 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 Huh. I'll take that. Oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> we just got the we just got a wonder whip, but let's go. So we got we oh oh in oh, the Ragnaroks. Okay, two of the things that I wanted to demonstrate. We got the thunder gun and the uh, the Ragnaroks. I, I think actually the thunder gun was the first time that it was introduced into Black Ops Three. Obviously, we do have Zombies Chronicles, but this was like. The first, first time before Zombies Chronicles? Oh my lord, man. These zombies be be hitting different, not gonna lie. Straight up, like, straight up just be hitting. Because that went down, get it? <laughs> <laughs> Rip Bozo freaking flying up. Look at them losers. Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening to them? <laughs> Okay, and now it's time for probably the coolest thing about this map. We are literally going to be eaten by a, by a cool alien. Look at him. He's so ugly. Oh, God. I don't want to die. Piss off. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Please. Consume me. Ah, oh, disgustingly cool. And we're inside of the weird, ugly monster creature thing. Ah. Uh, and Packet Punch is actually located here, but I have no ammo, so I, I think I can shoot it with a Thunder Gun, but that just feels like a waste. Ah, this place actually looks really nice. Here is Kino der Toten, and we have like a cool set piece with Apothecary Servants, our, our boys, and also the, the Marguas and stuff like that. We actually haven't fought the Margua yet, haven't we? So this is like probably the best place to go training zombies and stuff this is where i went for like a high round i remember just training around with apothecary conservant and i think this is an icr wall buy which is funny because the icr actually did end up being a wall buy on the map let's actually purchase it it ended up being a wall buy on kino the like zombies chronicles one over there and kino is just kind of like a hot spot now that i think of it like it's the good high rounding spot it has the good gun wall buy and also, on top of that, it has the hat location. It's the best of both worlds. Also, another cool thing about this map is just it's so visually nice looking. Like, it's really nice to the eye, in my opinion. All of the colors work. It's vibrant. It's beautiful. I mean, Black Ops 3 in general looks like this. So, that's, that's another huge plus. But also just like it being super populated like everywhere you look there's a detail there's rumble rocks fire uh pieces of wood now you look at like zombies maps and yeah that's there but it just doesn't feel the same man we have a magua watch this i'm pretty sure if you like align it correctly you can literally just destroy the magua with one shot like get all three heads at once <laughs> Speaking of getting all three heads at once, I got literally bonked. Straight up just bonked on the head. 
Now this is just gonna be a quick little outro. If you watched this far, thank you so much. I just wanna quickly mention again about the last video and the last two. Uh, YouTube for me has been kind of rough, obviously, because it's zombies and stuff. We're not gonna be back away from zombies anytime soon. But for some odd reason, these videos got like recommended a few times. So uh, I don't know. I, I, I kind of enjoyed this series. I already have a few ideas for other maps and other statements that I wanna say about them. It would be very random. We'll be skipping from different Call of Duties. Maybe I'll do one on World War Two, Infinite Warfare, and stuff like that. I I don't think we'll be going on to Vanguard just because that's just boring. But yeah, uh, Revelations is a really fun map, really cool looking. I still love it to this day. And if you agree, that's pretty epic. If you disagree, that's pretty epic as well. You know, you can't always have uh, people agreeing with you 100% of the time. If you're somehow new here, definitely be sure to subscribe. We're on the road to 31,000 subscribers and it's super close, which is kind of crazy to think about. We've been on the road to 31,000 subscribers for the past like six months now. So that's kind of funny. And also be sure to drop a like on the video as that does help, you know, me and the video out. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.